Coming off the swan song of the 2017 end zone, it all comes down to this. For all the toothpicks, not to be in Louisville, playing a slug bag. Master versus the Prince. MC Miller and Louisville taking on Tyrone Shorter in Knoxville County. Once again, it was the Tigers and the Wildcats. Second quarter, no score. Oh, we got a score after this. Armani Clark, Rashad Eads, wave goodbye. Touchdown for Knoxville County. They go up seven to nothing. But like a good infomercial, wait, there's more. Here comes Monty one more time, and he is money. And here's Jaquelin Smith, who's equally money. See you later. It's not to be up 21 0 in the first half. It was a one score game in the final moments, but Knox, we got an interception to seal it. The Tigers will go play for the 4A state championship in a great finish. Knox, 35, Louisville 28. A great season from Louisville, and you can best believe the Wildcats are going to be back next year. They got a really young team, and they're going to be really good next season. Ready? Go! Stay back, stay back. We don't give up, Where you think? Where you think? Drive for you think? Make sure you make that tackle. Oh, oh, Last year, boring North against Knoxby. Has that been something you noticed? Like some of these guys, it, it's eating away at them. That that was the way the season ended. Yeah, it's eating away at them, and it's eating away at me too. You know, I think we got enough people coming back defense wise. We ain't lose. We lost one or two, but they ain't hurt us now. We got we can replace them, and everybody on defense ready to go. And we lost offense a little bit. But uh, we think they're ready to go too, and uh, we got another offensive coordinator now. And uh, Coach Montgomery, he's gonna do a good job with us and everything. He's working hard with them and he getting them ready to go there. So I think that's a big help there, that offensive coordinator. I believe we can be real good. Uh, we stuck together as a team. Uh, we're hard throughout the summer. And I believe we just carried it over into the season. I believe we're gonna be pretty good. It's What's been good? killing me. I hate it. I hate that we had lost, but. It ended up that way. I really feel the same. We have high expectations to go far in the playoffs, possibly win championship. The motivation is just with Coke, with it being Coke Middle last year. Like I've, I've been playing under Coke Middle for four years now. This will be my last year, my fifth year. So just sending him out with a bang. That's the motivation. It's my senior year. Let's go out with a bang. I feel the team is ready this year. Every year we play, we're gonna be in the playoffs. And we're going to the North State Championship, put them up most time. And we're going to make it sometime and go to the State Championship. Sometimes we don't make it. But that's the main thing we are now, is trying to get them there. They're the senior class, they're leaving. And I'm leaving it too this year. And they all kind of want to get me out with a bang. Let's talk about some 4A football. What about the team that I'm picking could make, give Knoxville a little fits this year thanks to some health? The Louisville Wildcats. MC Miller's last year in Louisville after 45 years. I think the biggest thing for Louisville is going to be their defense. It's just a nasty defense, and that's one thing they take pride in. Uh, and I think that mixed with the fact that it's going to be Coach Miller's last year, there's going to be a little bit of extra want to need to get it done, have to do it for Coach. And that could be the thing that gets them over the hump whenever it comes to teams like Nasby. We've been watching MC for a long time and the teams that he's coached. and. Um, I mean, you may see MC holding up at Louisville at the end of the season a big trophy with a bunch of toothpicks in it because <laughs> that dude has, he's done a really good job. I have Louisville winning the title over East Central. I think the thing that gets them over the hump this year is going to be that MC Miller magic. You know, that they have that extra thing to fight for. You know, it's MC's last year. A lot of those guys grew up with him. They want to send him out a winner. Time to ride. The 2018 high school football season is on. The grind for nine begins as your Power Cats were on the road Friday night down in Florida taking on the Navarre Raiders. And Remember, this is our first game of the year, right? Yes, sir. We've got the ball play ball on the side.
second quarter, later in the second quarter, that's when we finally saw a little magic. Dre Shoemaker, your quarterback, going to roll right, then roll left, finding Marquis Haynes, who's going to get away from all sorts of black jerseys. And you can kiss him goodbye. 47-yard touchdown. Louisville takes a 7-0 lead. It was a defensive slugfest for most of this game. Navarre had a first and goal at the 10-yard line. Then Shamar Island came in and was a nuisance. Back-to-back -back sacks would force Navarre to, for, uh, to punt it on fourth and goal from the 40-yard line. So the defense would hold. They would lead 7-0 with the Power Cats going into the fourth quarter. But Navarre would strike. This would be their first touchdown, their only touchdown of the game. But they missed the extra point. That one, the key right there as Louisville holds on to a 7-6 lead. But the capper and the play that blew it open we were sort of waiting for this play all game, and yet here it comes. A great hole, great blocking from the offensive line, and there goes Kevon Jackson. Show me them taillights, 2-1. 70-yard touchdown would give Louisville a 14-6 lead, but the defense needed one more stop. One more big play to finish off. Your last play of the game, Navarre going towards the end zone, and Jemiah Harding comes up with the interception. It was hard fought. It was tough. It was rugged. It was everything you would expect playing a team of four times the size of your school down in the Sunshine State. Louisville starts off the grind for nine with a 14 to six win on the road at Navarre. 17 combined state championships. There's a reason why Louisville at West Point was WCBI's game of the week. Your Wildcats arriving at Hamlin Stadium to take on the back-to-back -back state champs, and the defense played a great football game. There's Jaikevius Hibbler. You also know him as Red with the sack there. And then more defense. How about Antorus Glenn? Big fella eating inside with the shoestring tackle right there. Second quarter, still a 3-0 game. West Point ran it for most of the night, and then they would throw these kinds of passes. Tough to defend, but a great touchdown pass. Louisville would trail 10-3 going into the locker room. Towards the end of the game, this is kind of fitting of how this team is going to be all season long. They will not go down. They will continue to fight. Claire Tavius triplet, 65-yard touchdown on the punt return. But your Louisville Wildcats dropped their first game of the season, 26-10. But do not give up on this team. Our best is yet to come. We will host Kemper County next Friday at home at R.E. Hines Stadium for Week 3. Oh, it feels so good to be back at home. Our 2018 home opener for the high school football season as your Louisville Wildcats were hosting the other Wildcats from Kemper County. And on a fourth down play, how about Michael Foster? He did all the work on this opening drive. Ten-yard touchdown finishes it off. 7-0 lead for Louisville. Time for the defense to get going. Sure enough, Ashanti Sistrunk can be of service. As he gets the interception, he's going to power walk, jog, however you want to say it, to the end zone. 32-yard score, Land Sharks up. It is 20 to nothing, Louisville. A little special teams magic here from your Power Cats. Ashanti Sistrum gonna feel the punt here, and he's gonna pitch it back to Clairtavius Triplett, and Pee Wee is gonna do the rest. 35-yard touchdown, stretching for the goal line. He's got it, as Louisville takes the win, 48 to nothing over Kemper County. Boy, did your Power Cats put on a show on Friday night at Ripley. And yeah, very loose, but y'all, this Louisville team was ready to go against the Tigers. And Jonte Garnett set the tone early. Get out of his way. A massive hit would get everything going. And Louisville then would go to work on offense. And Dre Shoemaker, there he goes. 56-yard touchdown pulling on the read option. It is seven nothing Lewis Fund. We were just getting warmed up in the first quarter. Here goes Mike, Michael Foster. See you later. 69 yard touchdown. Great read there from Shoemaker. It's 21 nothing. And, and here comes Ashanti Sistrunk with the pick. And my favorite part is he actually land sharks midway through this return. The dude was just on another level last night. That's another touchdown, 31 yard score. You made us do this, Ripley. Ashanti Sistrunk on the fake punt goes all the way for the touchdown on a 40-yard score. 35 nothing after one quarter. Louisville would be quite all right as they win 55-7, 3-1 on the season. 
how were we feeling the love on Friday? It was homecoming for your Wildcats, but it wasn't ours. We were at Grenada. Uh, here's spoiler alert, and here's a lesson learned for Grenada. Don't schedule Louisville for your homecoming. We got a little more defense, and then Jaikevius Hibbler getting in on the act. He gets the strip sack, and Torres Glenwood pounces on it and recovers. Thumper gets the fumble recovery as your Wildcats are rolling on both sides of the football. But we got to get the offense going. We're trailing 7-6. Here comes the offense going to work, and here comes Kevon Jackson. 2-1, showing them tail. It's 51-yard touchdown. That gets, that gets Louisville a 14-7 lead after one. What's even nicer, Kevon, he dropped the football. He gives it back to the official. That's what we teach the kids. Good sports, I'm sure. Second quarter, look at this throw. Dre off of his back foot. Marquee Hanks. What a catch inside the 15, and then, oh, Dre's pulling the okie doke. Gets by one man, dives for the pylon. He didn't get against Kemper. He got it this time on that touchdown run. Your Wildcats are 4-1 as they defeat Grenada 32-14. We kicked district playoff in a big way Friday night on the road at New Hope as the Trojans hosting your Louisville Wildcats with a flyover before the game. Get your popcorn ready. First quarter, Kevon Jackson running. No, that's Stray Shoemaker pulling on the read option, faking everyone out, including yours truly on the 11-yard score at 7-0 Louisville. Before the end of the half, your tricky cat's coming out to play. Hook and ladder, nice Selby and Kirk pitching Kevon Jackson. The dude just could not stop scoring. 55-yard score. It's 41-0 Louisville at the half. And Caleb Mosley, oh, that is a 9.5 for the French judge. Stick in the land. Very nice celebration. Third quarter, Kevon Jackson was ready to go before the second quarter ended. Look, Coach Westerfield, he's like, yeah, I know that's a touchdown after he crossed midfield. 67-yard touchdown, a five-touchdown night for Kevon Jackson. 54-0 the finals. We start off district play with a win. And you know what's coming next week. Welcome here to Louisville, Mississippi. You think those guys are ready? That's an Oxford County Tigers getting ready for Toothpick Bowl 2018. Taking on the Louisville Wildcats. Man, the stadium is starting to fill up already. Man, I think, uh, I think they're ready. It doesn't get any bigger than this at this stage, in the, it's this stage in the game, as this game could very well decide the division region 4-4-8. Here's some toothpick bowl knowledge for you. Knoxby County's on a five game win streak when it comes to this rivalry. The last time Louisville winning back in 2013. Over the last three games, they've been insanely tight. Here's the average final score. Knoxby County 35, Louisville 28. So the winner of this one puts themselves in the driver's seat in 4-4-A. And they could very well put themselves in the driver's seat to be the four, favorite out of 4-A. So we'll see what happens. Guess what? Y'all are still here. Let's go. They never went away. It just got bigger. It just got bigger. They finna feel around. All right, let's go. They won and when we're gonna be in the beat, not to be time. It's time for the country to stand around. Do y'all know that? Yes, sir. <laughs> Here we go. Strap in, y'all. Toothpick Bowl 2018. Knox to be at Louisville was as big as you could possibly imagine. All right, let's get to work. This game was 
just one heck of a football game. Now, Noxby scored on their opening drive with a touchdown. We would respond on a third and long screwed pass. When we needed a big play, let's go to the air. Let's let the offensive line break it open for Kevon Jackson. 65-yard touchdown. It is 12-10, Noxby. After one, you know, we gave up all those points, as Coach Miller said, but we got them all back, and we'd really get them all back here. On this second quarter play, here comes the defense. Kadarius Shell, KD, that's a power cat pick six. As Lewis will first lead of the night, they take it 17 to 12 in the second quarter. Now later in the quarter, fourth down, Knoxby drove into the Louisville red zone. Look out, here comes Killer Red. Jaquevius Hibbler, do that sack dance, son. Turnover on downs with a big play. And then before the half, Knoxby would get it back trying to drive, but a huge interception, literally and figuratively, and Taurus Thumper Glenn with a great play. So we get some momentum going into the locker room. It is 17 to 12, Louisville at the break. Fans, they were wild and ready to go for the second half. Offense goes to work. First play on the ensuing drive. Kevon Jackson, great hole from that offensive line. See ya. 35-yard touchdown. It is 24 to 12, Louisville after three. We're poised to put this one away. We are punting with about three minutes to go. Special teams were big as the Tigers come up with a block and they get a scoop and score a touchdown. Is this the nightmare again? Knoxby has a 26 to 24 lead. The Tigers, this is the reason why they're so good. They always make plays late to win games. They hadn't run into this Louisville team just yet. 2.50 to go. Here may be the play of the night. We needed a big pass and play. There you go. Dre Shoemaker, that's tennis shoot. David Haynes, big first down. And then Kevon Jackson put the team on his back at the end. He would take us all the way down to the five-yard line, and that would set up Elijah Wilkes. Just a simple 22-yard field goal. Blocking had to be great. The hold had to be great from Jace Hutspeth. Everything was good. Incredible comeback. Everything looked lost, but your Wildcats prevailed, never gave in. This is Noxby's first division loss in seven years, and it's our first win over the Tigers since 2013. Y'all, this team is something special as Louisville defeats Noxby 27-26 in heroic fashion. We were all set and ready to roll for our homecoming football game in 2018 as your Louisville Wildcats getting set to host the Forest Bearcats. Time for us to go put on a show for the fans that were in attendance on Friday night at R.E. Hines Stadium. Opening drive for your Wildcats, Dre Shoemaker walked into the end zone or jogged, either way you put it. Easy touchdown, eight-yard score. It is 7-0 Louisville. Forest now punting to Clairtavious Triplett. You don't want to punt to Pee Wee because he's going to make big plays. Now, Pee Wee returned punts. He also played running back. He played a little DB as well. He also worked in the concession stand, but he did just about everything, including that 60-yard touchdown, which gave us a 21 to nothing lead as we went into the locker room. Now, it's 21-3 in the third quarter. Shutout's gone, but we're still putting up points. On the third and long, Dre to Marquis Haynes. 65-yard touchdown and a great performance from your Wildcats. 49-3 winners. A win on Friday night over the Whippets would win and clinch the division on the road at Kosciuszko. Keep on Jackson. Oh boy, this boy can run you over. Lowers the boom there on the willing safety from Kosciuszko. 19-yard touchdown. It is 10-0 Louisville at that point. Kosciuszko would make a run in the fourth quarter. But Dre Shoemaker would close the door right after that. Pulling on the read option. Wave goodbye to number nine. As he goes 58 yards for the touchdown. As your Louisville Wildcats division champions for the first time since 2014. As the Powercats get the win over Kosciuszko 46 to 23. <laughs> Let's get to the action. Week 11 senior night as we hosted the Leak Central Gators. All 26 seniors walked out arm in arm on the field before kickoff. First quarter, Leak Central driving and trying to run, and now you're not because Darius Hopkins is running. He literally just took the ball. That, that's my ball. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to go run in for a touchdown. 75-yard score 
I told you last week, the dude's got speed. He showed it there. 7 0 lead for Louisville. Later, a little air attack coming from Deontay Yarbrough. D to David. Tennis shoe getting through some tackles and wave goodbye. 45 yard touchdown. That makes it 14 to nothing, Louisville in the first quarter. And oh, we weren't done in the first quarter. Here's Big D one more time. Dre Shoemaker wide open. 25 yard touchdown. Makes it 21 to nothing, Louisville after one. And watch uh, Dre and Coach Westerfield get a little air. Oh, I like it. As your Wildcats have a double digit win season going into the playoffs. As they defeat League Central 43 to nothing, they will take on Vihalia next week. First round of the playoffs as we are ready for the new season to begin. Oh, I'm ready to go right now. We're going to play at the playoff game right now. We just got down playing League Central. I'm ready to roll right now. So I don't know who the number one, who the number one team is out there or whoever we play next. We just know we coming. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got nothing to say, but we coming. You know, are we ready for real? Playoff ride began on Friday night at home as we hosted by Halia and the offense would cash in on the great field position. The next play, let's go up top. Big D, Marquis Haynes, back corner of the end zone, 22 yard touchdown. It is 14 to nothing, Lewis will let number one eat, y'all. Next drive for your Wildcats. Here comes Action Jackson. Here comes Kayvon Jackson right up the middle. And it looks like he'd go all the way. Now, he probably could have if he would have dove for the pylon. Instead, he marks him out the two. And uh, he's going to go ahead and spend some time behind the bushes and think about what he's done. No problem. Big D going to finish off on the next play. Touchdown keeper. Makes it 20 to nothing. Louisville. This is the first play of the third quarter. A little misdirection action. And here comes Mignon Sanders. And he breaks free. And you are so not catching him. 45 yard touchdown. Makes it 27 to nothing, Louisville. You know Coach Montgomery liking that from his offense. We got Dre Shoemaker now in a quarterback fake and the handoff inside, kicks it out. Kevon Jackson, this time he would not be denied on the touchdown. He's going to get the score. The Wildcats will host Clarksdale next Friday as we win 41 nothing. Guess what? What a night Friday at home. Your Wildcats at home with a familiar face on the field. Legendary head coach Lynn Moore spoke pregame with the team and he helped lead us to that 1993 state championship. It was great to have him back and great to have head coach MC Miller back on the sidelines as your Wildcats hosted. The other Wildcats from Clarksdale. Yes, we did not forget about the history from 97 to 2000. We were going to do those teams proud. Time for the defense to turn up, and boy, oh boy, did Darius Hopkins have himself a night. It was a meet me in the backfield kind of night for this defensive front. Hopkins there, and then watch out, Jaikevius Hibbler. Here he comes, killer red on the sack. And you know when he comes up with a stop, you got to find the camera, and you got to do your sack dance. That would back up the punt for Clarksdale, and they couldn't really handle special teams on Friday night. Bad bobbled snap, whatever you call it. There's Kadarius Shell, KD on the fumble recovery touchdown. It's 14-0 Louisville after one. D gonna keep on the misdirection, and I'm not sure where in the world the ball was going, and I had a tough time keeping up with it. And so did Clarksdale, because 17 yards later, Yarbrough's in the end zone. It is 21-0 Louisville for in the upcoming drive. Here comes Action Jackson. Wee! We just saw a man fly. Kayvon Jackson, goodbye. 35-yard touchdown. Take another look. 42-0 Louisville, and we weren't done scoring. Later on a fourth down, look at D off of his back foot. How about Marky Haynes going to make a play on the 17-yard touchdown? Not how you draw it up, but it still counts the same. It is 52 nothing after three. And the cherry on top is Camden Sanders checking in, pulling the read option on the touchdown run there. 59 nothing. your final. A statement win for your Powercats. 
We will be on the road next Friday at Pontotoc. Ready to start fast Friday night at the Holler. Your North half semifinal matchup. Your Louisville Wildcats on the road taking on the Pontotoc Warriors. And who boy, we were ready to turn up in a big way. Look at Charles Moore. Big man rumbling. Power cat pick six as he takes the screen pass the other way for a touchdown. Coach Hoskins and Charles get a little air. Mob up. 8-0 Louisville. And did by any chance, man, I might have mentioned Charles Moore as a part of this highlight. He's also a really good football player. He intercepts his second pass in the first quarter, this time on a shovel pass. And then the very next play, Big D loads up the cannon to Nyselbian Kirk. Beautiful. That's a 35-yard touchdown. It is 21 to nothing Louisville. Honotok would score on their ensuing drive after a turnover, but we would respond kindly with Kayvon Jackson, show me them taillights 2-1. 45-yard touchdown. That offensive line of Ja'Cory Grace, Darion Dora, Sicario Goss, Nasir Brown, Timothy Arbrow, man, they were outstanding. 42-7 Louisville, and the next Warrior drive, uh-oh. Jonte Garnett has reservations for six. It's another power cat pick six. It is 49-7 after three. Mind you, we're doing all of this on the road, in the playoffs, in North F Finals. Darius Hopkins, once again, is making plays. This team was on another level Friday night. And then to finish it off, look at this hole. You're gonna have to drive a truck through that hole. And Kevon Jackson, open sesame. Action Jackson has himself six more. 65-yard touchdown, caps off the night. Take a bow, Kevon. 56-7 final. We will be hosting Greenwood next Friday in the North Half Final. I remember September 27, Louisville, Mississippi. Tell them we on our way. We on our way. Sir. We hope you don't mind a little rant in your Powercats TV game day replay. We were gathering two of every animal on Friday night at Ari Hine Stadium, which means it was coming down in buckets. We were preparing an arc. The whole story in the Bible, you got it. Anyway, North Half Final, a rematch from September 21st, and we were ready to roll as your Louisville Wildcats hosting the Greenwood Bulldogs. Greenwood passing, tick, drill, pick. The Jack Boys, John Tay Garnett coming up with a big play, taking it back inside the 10 yard line. That turnover would lead to points for your power cats. They turned to special teams. Elijah Wilkes through the rain. 23-yard field goal. Money. 3-0 lead for your Wildcats. Second quarter, Deontay Yarbrough loading up the cannon through the rain. Dre Shoemaker on the catch and a first down. And then a little bit later on that drive, all aboard. Choo choo. Here comes the D train. Deontay Yarbrough, you will not stop me. 10-yard touchdown. It is 10 Nothing Louisville is in all phases. The Wildcats were getting it done. Now your Wildcats passing. They Greenwood comes up with a tip drill interception, which they would take back for a pick six. So Greenwood, after three, takes a 14 to 10 lead. So that's now two touchdowns in the third quarter, both coming from the Greenwood defense. So the offense, time to regroup. Fourth quarter, let's get all aboard the D train as he will not be denied on this first down carry right here. And then the biggest play of the game on a fourth and goal at the three yard line. We put in the power cat offense and we let Kevon Jackson eat. Into the end zone for the touchdown on the three yard scores. Your Wildcats take a 17-14 lead with eight minutes to go. And we were celebrating as if the game was over. It's kind of because our defense was just on another level Friday night. And even when the rain stopped, Greenwood could not do a thing offensively. And here comes Big Thumper. Good to see 57 back out there in Torres Glenn. And then they needed one more play, one more stop to finish it off. On a fourth down with 30 seconds left, how fitting it's Darius Hopkins coming up with a strip sack play. That's all she wrote. Louisville will play for a state championship as they win at 17-14 over a Greenwood team that showed great sportsmanship from their players after the game. And then we got a little mudsliding in after the game. It, I told you it was sloppy. And the guys, 
didn't really mind getting the uniforms dirty. A great night had by all. And we've got one more to go in Hattiesburg for the state championship. Just walk through, seeing eight gold balls, trying to make it nine by playing this Saturday. But I feel like we're going to do it and keep the legacy going. We work so hard, start from the summer. It just, it'll mean a lot. Go out with a bang with my guy. I love all them boys. I ain't never been there before. So, time to play when we get there. We ain't just stopping now, we gotta win it. For real. Not too many people can say they can they went out as a champion. And then we get to let Coach Miller go out as a champion too. Like we came into the season with this goal in mind, and now we're here, you know, like we worked hard to get here, and it was the goal, and we just stayed, stayed, I guess I can say faithful to the process, we just trusted the process, and God blessed, and now we're here. And yeah, that would start off sitting grinding for nine, you know, and so we grind for it, and we work hard for it, and we ready to get it now, because we can't no turn around now. Welcome live to Hattiesburg, Mississippi and M.M. Roberts Stadium inside of Carlisle Faulkner Field. It's time for the Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi Gridiron Classic featuring the 4A squads, the Poplarville Hornets and the Louisville Wildcats. Two teams very familiar with good football, one with winning state championships and one looking for that first one. Yeah, well, I like all the state championship games, obviously, but it's great when you get the two teams here who you believe are the two best teams in the state in that classification, and that's what we got today. Out of the north, obviously, with with uh, with uh, Louisville, and then with Poplarville down south, you're going to get a great game between the two best 4A teams in Mississippi. The Louisville Wildcats, who are no strangers to the state championship runs, and they don't lose when they come here. No, and they probably, they're the favorite today, I would say. I mean, Poplarville is a really good football team, but you look at the, the pedigree with Louisville, how many state championships they have. It's both sides of the football, a couple of SEC players on that defense. I mean, they're going to be tough. We're getting ready to go out there and play. This is a play that love high school football. We're going to let them accommodate them. win one for their head coach, MC Miller. Uh, this could be his last game coaching. He's had some great runs and knocks me in at Louisville winning state championships. So they're hoping to win one for him. We are proud and privileged to bring you the Class 4A state championship game between Poplarville and Louisville. So 7 nothing Poplarville. Underneath handoff again. This time it's in the end zone on another fourth down conversion for Poplarville. Tyson Holston is two for two on touchdown runs now. The third down. Rolling to his right, Yarbrough looking to keep it himself. He has room to run and he's going to be able to escape a leg tackle there. Get the first down and get into Poplarville territory. Trying to convert here and keep this drive alive. Calling his own number again. Big hole for Yarbrough and he takes on the defensive back and nearly mows him down. They are able to stop him at the 11 yard line. He's going to roll it to the right. Looking to throw, he's got a target in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats! Albius Haynes with the reception, and the Louisville Wildcats march it right down the field in 80 yards. They strike with a score. And now, Yarbrough, big hole. Can he get past the last defender? He's gonna smartly step out of bounds and avoid any more contact as quarterback versus quarterback there. Now Yarbrough looks to throw to the end zone. Far corner, caught. And can he find the pylon? No, he's denied the end zone, but Haynes able to get it down there. 14-6, can they 
get the tying score plus a two-point try. Here's the score on the run around the end by Kavon Jackson. He strikes quickly. Now Tyson Holston, who has the two touchdowns. Does he have enough for a third? Yes, he does. Touchdown, Hornets. 44 yards out, and Pop Liberal back up now 20 to 12. Four yards and a touchdown. He goes to the ground again, straight up the gut one more time. They got a safety holding it back just to stop him in case he breaks free just for that reason. And he's able to get inside the 30-yard line. He'll give it to Jackson. He'll follow his blockers. He's got the 10, the 5. He's got the touchdown. Come on, strikes again for Louisville. And they're back to within two. Yarbrough on the shotgun, four receiver set. Looks deep in the, oh, he's got a wide open target again, and it's Nysalvi and Kirk with a touchdown. And the Wildcats take their first lead of the ball game on the fourth catch of the game from Kirk. They'll try up the middle, wide open hole, and a first down carry. And ripping the football out, it's loose and still bouncing around, and Louisville has the football. What a turn of events. Johnson with a recovery rate. Keevy Johnson takes it away, recovers the fumble. And that'll do it. They're not going to have to snap it again. It's nine for nine for the Louisville Wildcats. They have come into the state championship title game nine times. And nine times they now can call themselves state champions. When you play for a state championship at Lewis, you never lose. We start, started talking at the beginning of the year, grinding for nine. And uh, it came on at the end. It, so I'm real right now. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm lost of words, man. I feel like crying, but the tears won't come out. It's crazy, man. I mean, we had a slow start, and it just. Here. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. We've been. We've been Hoping for this the whole song. We worked our, we, I ain't gonna say that. We worked our butts off to get to this point. I feel it, man. Wonderful feeling. We just got nine, we did this. On the 10 now. now we're on the 10. It's a great game. MVP right here. MVP. Hey. I ain't even expected this. You sore? You ain't expected. How you feeling about the game, bit. How you feeling about nah. the game? How you feel? I feel good. You know, come out on um, my senior lead he got to the championship. You know, I had to step up in the second half. We came out with a little adverse. You know, we just stepped up and finished. Trust the process. Nobody believed in us. Nobody. They figured we were going to be good, but they didn't think we were going to make the state. We just proved everybody wrong. We came out first two quarters, giving up touchdown. But third and fourth, we made it better. Everybody that know Louisville know that we are third and fourth quarter team, not the first and second. But the only thing I can say, we got the gold ball. Bring it home. I just want to shout Marcus out. Marcus held him up before we can make a game change of play. Script the ball, get what? It's unreal, man. Unbelievable. We came out and made something happen in the second, the second half. That's unbelievable. Hey. We got it. Like we said, we're going to get it. We finally did what we wanted to do. Four state champs. We got this, man. We got this. We got it. Um, we said we was going to send Coach Miller out with a bang at the beginning of the season, you know. So we started with the end in mind, and, and now we're here, and we seized the moment. We made it. Never gave up. We were down, but we never gave up. And we just pulled it off.